Welcome to Angie's DIYs. My name is Angie and in today's craft we are going to be working on cleaning out this closet and organizing it, getting some safer shelving in there for my mom and we're going to update her coffee bar. Okay, this is the current condition of this little small closet. She uses it for paper products, uh, her mops and brooms. She also has in here some floral supplies because she is a retired florist. There's a few hardware supplies in there, a few gardening supplies. And it's very conveniently located. It's right where she can put things in as she comes in and out the house. So it's a very, very nice closet for her to have, but it needs to be a little bit safer for her. Alright, let's get started pulling some of these items out. Okay, there's some paper products, and she does need a lot of paper products because she has a very large family. Okay, look at all these mops and brooms. hot coal bags and she does need those hot coal bags because we live we live a good ways from um, our local Sam's and things like that where you buy bulk supplies so we do have to use those hot coal bags she's got some hardware in there for when she's crafting upstairs you know, little nails, screws more paper products and I see those gardening supplies in there that doesn't need to be in there at all so we're going to find a new location for that hopefully I think that basket we did find a new location for that basket too The original plan was to put the paper products on the new shelving because it would be lightweight. But we changed that plan and put her appliances that she only uses once or twice a year or whenever she's having homecoming at church, family dinners or whatever, on those, shel on those shelves and all the paper products on the cart. We decided to use one of those tool carts that uh, mechanics use because it has these really really nice wheels on it it rolls right in there and right out and she could put off her paper products on it like when she brings thing in and put it on the island she can roll that cart out load it up and roll it right back in then when she's having a big dinner party or whatever she just roll that cart out and all the supplies are on it so that, that worked out really good, and when, once she pulls the cart out, it's very easy to reach the appliances that she has on those shelves, and so it's just working out so much better. Now, here's some of my mom's engineering here. She took some ribbon, some cotton ribbon, and made some uh, straps and strapped it, strapped that plastic thing to the wall, but it is still giving way. The plastic's giving way. So we took that out. We'll probably use this shelf, maybe take it apart and use half of it in the basement maybe. And we're going to do something about that light fixture too. I got a electrician I'm going to ask to come over and fix that light fixture for her a little bit better maybe put a switch on it okay here's the shelving now those shelving brackets are some she already had she already had that wood we're going to keep that to put the hot coal bags on and we added this for everything that had a handle but see those little um, tips on there it won't go through the holes in the handle, so we, we got a solution for that. Okay, 
Now, I'm taking them back out because we were not satisfied with how it was attached to the wall. So we took them out, added some anchors, and reattached it. So that, that's what we're doing there. It's better to do it right the first time. And you don't have to take it apart and do it again. <laughs> You see me putting my weight on it to see if it's going to give, and then and it's in there pretty pretty tight. So, and I'm just eyeballing this. I I didn't bring my level with me, but I figured I could eyeball it and get it pretty close, and, and it looks pretty good. Put my weight on that one. These shelving boards don't match. But we got a solution for that also. Here, here's our solution. <laughs> We're just going to put a piece of fabric over each one, tack it on, and um, that'll make it uh, look, match a little better. And plus, you can just take those off and wash them if they get dirty. And she will probably, knowing her, she will probably change it up and uh, do something more decorative because we did talk about something that would be more decorative and later on we might we might do that but for right now we're just going to use this old tablecloth because it matches the cart and it just makes it a little bit cuter because we're all about something cute Those scissors right there are not made for cutting fabric, let me tell you. <laughs> One of these days, I'm gonna get a good pair of scissors. And now I'm going to get a, a little tack. Oh, that looks crooked. Okay. Yeah, it's okay till we use till we change it up. We're going to change it up eventually. My mom, she is so crafty. She'll look at that and she'll have a better idea. <laughs> I'm just lightly tacking those in, not going, you know, not trying to make it permanent, but just trying to keep it from uh, falling off the shelf. And that red matches the cart because the cart's red. So it kind of it kind of goes together. I hope that crooked doesn't make your eye twitch. <laughs> okay. Now here's where she had all of these appliances in her kitchen cabinets. So this is freeing up her cabinets. See, and those are things she doesn't use every day. She probably doesn't even use them every month, but she does use them. That big roaster pan, and she only uses that once a year. These cake pans, she uses those quite often, but they're very lightweight, and she can easily get those down. Now she's got some extra room in there that I am sure she'll have filled up before long. Okay, now we got all the paper products and our little small hardware pieces on the cart. Here's the cart, and it rolls right in with no worries. Look at that. Almost every, 
all the paper products she had in there on that card. Now here's her solution for getting the um, everything that has a handle on that rack. She put zip ties on them. And they fit right. Boy, she got a lot of cleaning sticks. <laughs> this was just a little extra piece of fabric left over. Okay, here's the grand reveal. <laughs> There's a peak machine. We didn't put that back in there. But I think most, a lot of what was in there went on that cart. Okay, she's already put a few more things in here since I started with this project. And she can just roll that right out. It doesn't, it doesn't take any energy or strength at all to pull that cart out. And she does still have a little room on in the corner back there for something else. Look how easily all the mop handle things went up there. Good job. I think it's going to work. All right, now we're on to the second project. This project is this coffee bar. My sister and my son-in-law and my dad, we built this one day out of scrap wood for my mom. And she has really enjoyed it over the year. I think it's about two years old maybe now. But we saw a piece of furniture at a thrift store about maybe two months ago. and But we couldn't get it that day. We didn't have the truck, you know, we couldn't get it. And a friend of mine gave me that exact piece of furniture and here it is i mean it is almost identical and so <clears throat> what we're going to do is clean it up real good and then just move the things that are on the other bar to it it's an antique piece of furniture for sure and the back has a mirror i'm sorry for that glare but the back has a mirror on it and we went ahead and installed it the way it came but we are thinking about adding a piece between the top of that mirror and the top of the bottom of the mirror and the top of the buffet there to make that go up higher so if we do i'll do an update on on it for you and let you know but right now all we did was put it together clean it really well there's my mom and my husband removing everything off the old one so we just cleaned it up. She was going to take that freezer and move it to another part of the house. And we disassembled that old coffee bar to keep that wood. Because it's already painted just the right color and it's distressed just, just right. So we're going to use that wood for other projects. And we built this, this was the first real project we did with my uh, new nail gun. And I think it held out pretty good. I still have that nail gun. I really love using that nail gun. We're going to try to move that little freezer without scratching the floor. All right, I put my little skip on it. <laughs> and that buffet has wheels on it that really, really work. That, that buffet is easy to move. I got some dish towels over the mirror so you wouldn't get that glare. Okay, let's get everything back on it now. We're just going to set it on there and make it um, easy for my mom to move around because she'll probably redecorate it several times, I'm sure, before she puts her fall stuff on it. That top drawer, the narrow 
drawer is like for silverware. And guess what that drawer is perfect for? K-cups. They fit right in that drawer. And you can read right on the top what flavor your K-cup is. I'm going to show you in just a minute here. See her coffee pot sitting on top of the K-cup drawer, but we were able to do away with that. Okay, we've got it all washed out, got it airing out so it'll smell good. And here it is with some decorations on it, and then there's the K-cups. Look, they fit in there so perfect. Thanks for watching our video today. We surely do appreciate it. And if you have time, go over and check out my husband's YouTube channel. His channel is Woodbury Cottage and it's daily devotionals. Very uplifting. Uh, they only last a few minutes and they're easy to watch on your lunch break or coffee break. And if you enjoyed this video and, and, we've, and if we've earned it, give us that thumbs up. It means a lot to us. And we'll see you on the next video.